Here's an example of one of the infants in our Exploring Everywhere program. I wanted to take you through his portfolio as well as to show you a few other coffee table books from our infant classes to give you an idea of some suggestions and advice to try with your own child at home. So on the first day, we try to capture a picture. The children get an opportunity to meet each other as well as the parents that attend the program. We generally have moms or dads, we have grandparents, nannies, sometimes godparents, aunts and uncles. So the program runs with the child's registration and it can include any of the parents that want to attend. On the first day, they'll make a foot painting or a finger painting. <clears throat> These children attended with their moms and their moms knew each other. So it's also nice to come with a friend or a relative. And then of course, they'll get a chance to meet others while they're here. We have indoor and outdoor learning. And depending on the season, they'll still get the sensory play with the water. So that can still happen inside. Here you'll notice the infant is exploring some edible paint that I've made, and that's the artwork. It's made out of baby cereal as the main ingredient. And even though it looks like they're tearing the paper, we still keep all of it because it's a memory of where they were at in their development. Our programs are filled with songs and stories and so much fun and joy. Here they are outside. And I really love watching the infant's relationships with one another. So just the social piece. Exploring some mark making. A cleaner version of paint inside is a bluff bag, but beautiful results. So they never actually come in contact with the paint. This is regular finger paint for a three-year-old, but the infant can use it inside the Ziploc bag. Again, crumpling the paper, making their first marks, learning how to use different writing materials like a crayon, reading, exploring their reflection with mirrors on the light table, pulling out all of the scarves. We did some outdoor swimming, textures, the pipe cleaners, lots of sounds with the crunchy paper, a little tea party. We have a parachute in the summer, great opportunity for more songs, bubbles, even the discussion of colors, which you can see here was translated indoors with the book. Watercolor painting, using different tools that are baby safe. Our dinosaurs were very hungry. <laughs> and this infant looked really interested in that. Again, this can be done indoors or outdoors. Feeding the dinosaur. Exploring our various resources that get changed depending on the interests of the children in the program. Peekaboo is very popular. So I try my best to show families a variety of approaches with regards to the interactions of their child. So I will show them play-based, I'm very Red Joe inspired. So whatever I've been trained in, I do my best to educate the families and give them different options so that whatever they try in the studio, they can also try at home. Now meet our next infant in the studio who attended classes during the summer. Here you can see that we explored cellophane and tissue paper for the sounds. Just the joys of being allowed to participate in art is a huge component of our program. We want to build their interest, their confidence, exploring reading, sand, making connections with the natural environment and also 
building those friendships, the joy of exploring. You can paint using a ball. When you're interested in trying water, there's always ways to change the color of the water using bath drops, for example, or even watercolor paint. And lastly, here's one more infant who attended during the late summer, early fall. Again, those are the blue bath drops. They're by Crayola. They can be found in the bath aisle. If you want to switch up your water play, you can add a watering can and spray the water from a higher height. Water play can also happen in large bowls. Children of this age love to see their reflection and to explore painting in safe ways with water. This is actually called a Buddha board, but if you don't have a Buddha board, you can always paint with water on construction paper or on a piece of wood on the fence. I hope that gave you a window into some of our program ideas and that it might inspire the work that you do with your infant at home. Stay tuned for lots more.